it. <laughs> now we just hope it doesn't catch anything else on fire. Oh boys, the Subaru. Subaru was in there. The Can-Am frame was in there. The Z fortunately wasn't in there. Hopefully we can get it put out. Not to mention what he had in there, God. And then the building too. Yeah, no, it's, it's bad. All right, YouTube, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. We're gonna be rebuilding a lot of things. One day, I guess. Oh, uh, boys. This one's rough, guys. Doesn't look like we'll be finishing the Subaru project. I'd say she's a total loss. Damn, that sucks. Uh, I do want to thank the firefighters out here. They're doing their best. It's a it's flaming up good. They're doing what they can. Man, that sucks about the Subaru. I really wish I would have uh, showed you more of this building before it was gone. It'd make this a little more of a comparison video than a not too bad since we're over there. What do you guys think the uh, likelihood of any of those being going on? couple of different times you can see things are a little different than where I ended off last night we ended up flaring up and having to move some things and got a little out of control last night not after they left but I mean before oh man so yeah the carnage let's go look at the Subaru first I guess let's start there so Subaru was full of a ton of stuff. Just all kinds of different uh, LS parts for this car, for the Z, for you know other projects. And it's all burned up. Like it's it's gone. Big time gone, real bad. So much work done to this thing, just Oh, the Vikings. I forgot about the Vikings. Uh, they might be good still. We might save the Viking shocks. They probably got put on. Uh, the engine is a uh, crispy critter, bud. Well, not that I'm surprised, but the intake is smoked. Hopefully the rest of the motor will be okay, but we're gonna have to rip her out soon before it starts getting wet. Once I figure out where we'll play with that, but at least we might be able to salvage at least the motor, maybe the trans. I don't know about that. 
I don't have high hopes about the shocks. Now that I look at it better. The fuel cell's probably smoked, but hopefully the sending unit lived, maybe. I don't know. So this was the corner of the shop. And you can tell we had some paint over here at one point. There's the air compressor. Shapers, more shapers. This was the truck. We believe the fire started with the truck or the uh, dust collection. All of that was kind of right here. This is where the main power came in for the building, as you can tell. With all of that. This thing was a little work truck that old Matco tool truck. And it was uh, flaming up good. I didn't get much video of that. There was a ton of stuff I didn't get video of. I didn't start videoing until after like, it was all done. There was nothing else to be done but video, I guess, if that makes any sense. So, the top plate looks pretty good. The foundation looks savable for the most part. A little chipped out right here, but... I used to play on this on these foundations when I was a child. When we first bought this place, this was the foundation was here and it was no building. I think it was going to be a house at one day, but uh, it never got finished. So my dad built the house over there, and then one day turned this. By the time I was probably 15 or so, 16, he turned it into the garage that we had, and it was a car part over where the dungeon is. It was a carport. And then the rest of this was all stub walled up and it was a big open shop. The place was awesome. So this was my side of the shop, the dungeon. We've got wire. These are all our, I'm assuming, the different extension cords that were all hanging from the wall. I don't recognize some of this stuff. There's the old uh, Harbor Freight Jack that I've had forever. Um, oh, there's another jack. There's my other good jack right there in that pile. Um, I honestly, oh, that's a wheelchair. That's what that is. I figured that out last night. Oh, oh crap. I forgot those are in here. There was the crossbars for the Can Am. I mean, you don't really use them anymore, but there was a lot of Can Am parts in here on this wall right here. I forgot about. Oh, the shop press, the old Harbor Freight press. Man, I've had that for so long. She gone. Uh, so yeah, you can see things just uh, kind of fell from the sky. Oh, the tire machine. The old tweaker tire machine. Oh, the Chase Ass sticker. Damn it. I forgot about that. Oh, hey. I need this. That is some of the pieces to the seat. There's the seat belt from the seat. <laughs> this is that seat somehow. Oh, there's a magnet right there. I don't want to touch this. It's all sooty. I just cleaned my hands. Yeah, that is uh, the Can Am seat. All right there. Freaking yeah. So I have a three seater now. Because I normally ride around in uh, oh, I'll put this over. What the hell is that? What was that? Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna get that out of there. Hey, that was just plastic, I guess. Sweet. Throw that over there with that shit. Alright, so as you get back to the end of the dungeon here, this is uh where we were. Got my old rolly cart. We lost the metal cut saw. 
the parts pre-x that's pretty upsetting i had so much cool stuff on here oh my drive shafts they're definitely bent now oh my tubing notcher oh crap i forgot about that <sighs> drill bits i don't know what the hell that crystallization thing is from that's some thick ass metal oh there was a tv on this wall i forgot about that oh yeah there's part of it right there so the tools are they're melty real melty this box got knocked over at some point last this morning when they were doing whatever so that'll be fun uh this box over here still had some stuff in it that is good we got a dremel some sockets uh so where a lot of little specialty tool stuff was, so that actually survived. But uh, yeah, it's uh, big time no good, boys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I ever really said what the story with this place was, but uh, it was my grand my my dad's shop, and I just kind of moved into the carport, and we called it the dungeon, and it was, you know, thin, but it was long. Uh, at least we can laugh. Oh, fuck, that tree's dead. That tree's probably gonna die. So we did have some tree death. Sorry, I'm just getting it off here, but... Uh, yeah, it's... Oh, the little... My little hammer. Oh, <laughs> oh man. It's rough. I don't know how many people have ever gone through something like this. It's uh, it's definitely one of those deals where you're just like, man, that sucks. <laughs> it uh, doesn't, uh, nothing really, no, else you can say. It just sucks. So we're gonna let this thing off gas a bit more and uh, I don't know. I got. I don't even. I don't have anywhere to put anything. Oh, that's what we want to go look at. Let's go look at the bend tube bender. See if it's any good. Oh hey. Oh hey, my big socket set was right there. Oh, I forgot about that. There's so much in scrap tools and steel in here. Not even funny. I have more, more big sockets. Um, two bender. That's what we were after. It's easy to get distracted. To figure it, figuring out what the hell you were doing in here. So the two bender, I actually think is uh, gonna be saveable. We'll have to see, but uh, I think with a new hose and maybe a new pump, yeah, definitely a new pump. But I think the ram's probably okay. I mean, the metal part's all right. We'll save this. That will save. Oh, well, there's the wall mount for the TV. It was still hooked up to something at some point. Oh, that's actually the TV. Oh, shit. There's the TV right there. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I uh, got some axles here. What the hell was that right there? Oh, there's a chainsaw right there. That's what that was. God, we could got the chainsaws out there. Were chainsaws. Damn it. Yeah. This one's rough. Anyone know how to get uh, soot from a fire off of tools? Because. There are some things that are saveable. Like, I found my favorite hammer in the whole world. And um, it's totally saveable, but it's filthy. Like, what do you clean that with? Huh? Let me see. What can you clean that with? Ah. Alright, boys. Well, I, uh, I'll turn it back on once we start doing some stuff. But at this point, it's just a lot of me feeling sorry for myself. That ain't good for you or me or anyone. So 
We're gonna let this thing off gas a day or two, and I'm gonna figure out what the hell I'm doing. And we'll talk to you.